what's really good y'all we're gonna be doing a reading for taurus for mid to end of january we're doing my two favorite decks darling and i do have a cold <clears throat> i think i do have the flu darling um so excuse my my nasally voice so we're just gonna get right into it thank you so much for popping on down and y'all kairos and this is on the side an eye and all seeing eye the mountain it's like inner work the king in reverse <clears throat> one more interesting the mask in reverse um if you have any gemini in your chart go check that out because these are similar to what I did in the Gemini reading. All right, we're going to start with Kairos. And I, I've i seen this one, but I don't think I've had this one in a reading. So let's see. Arrows, Thantos, Apocalypsis, Gnosis. There we go. No, I don't think I've had it before. Okay, so when it is in the upright, and again, it's on its side, even though they're circles, it means alignment, ease, and decisions in action. When it's in the dark position, it's fighting against the time. Interesting. Uh, we all have had the experience of timelessness, of life beyond the ticking of the clock. It may be felt as time standing still, slow motion, or losing track of time on a walk or in a lovely conversation. This is known as mythic time and is the territory of Kairos. This card suggests there is a secondary time continuum that goes beyond any earthly clocks and schedules. Definitely, darling. With this nonlinear realm, we access divine timing. Yes, a single moment ripens with auspiciousness, and our actions change the trajectory of our whole life. Time becomes a living thing that watches over us and tells us precisely when to speak or act. When this card appears, it is all about patience and precision. Patience and precision. I like that. No clock can guide you. Wait for the rush of inner knowing and no, not a moment longer. Yeah, it's like... <clears throat> this is divine timing at play. I feel like maybe this is you wrestling with the fact that you cannot control this, which is understandable. Um, let's see. The word evil comes from the root of unripe. Consider that everything has a time of ripeness when it becomes a nourishing fruit sweet to the lips. Yeah, it may not be quite time, but I feel like whatever, if you're working on yourself or you're working on a project, this is something that's been taking a lot of time because I remember in this one, um, you find diamonds and gems inside the mountain uh from all that time and pressure is what makes them so beautiful um i'm gonna read that one too because there's i know there's other things i'm missing out on that um but to trust in the divine timing um and if you are not going with the flow of things you're honestly inevitably inevitably going to make it more difficult and kind of um push it further and further down the timeline, if that makes sense. Okay, so we'll do the mountain, and then we'll go into the tarot. Here we go. I really like this one. As you can see, I marked it all up. So when it's in the upright, which it is, is grounded in the eternal, steadfast, and uplifting. The mountain stands eternally in our awareness, calling us towards its peak. It stirs up stoic and regal feelings, reminding us of the long line of spirits, sages, sad sadas and gods that made their humble thrones within its snowy peaks beware though as the mountain can affect us in two ways it can inspire and enliven us to rise to new heights in a peak experience yet it can also create illusion isolation competitiveness and an inflated sense of self yeah of the self-importance thing uh and unfortunately oopsies that is extremely prevalent in the spiritual community you'll see these readers or you know um spiritual people just kind of you know get wrapped up in spiritual narcissism and that's not darling that is not the point of the process um <clears throat> standing upon its heights can activate the pursuit of the and the perfectionist in us, creating separation from those we deem to be below. No matter how high you ascend, remember that it is within the core of the mountain that the gems, minerals, and jewels reside. If you think it's all about going up, you're following the fool's path and missing the miner's magic. Yeah, I think, I think you are 
you want to control how things are going to pan out in this journey. And unfortunately, we don't have that luxury, right? Um, and a lot of things in the spiritual journey are unknown. Even if you are very in tune and connect with your spirit guides on the daily and doing this for years, there are still things that they will not be revealed to you because they don't want you to know. And, you know, you have to go through some things, right? Spin it into gold and move on top. You're, you know, get up. That, that doesn't make sense. Um, Come out on top, you know? You have to ultimately make those decisions on how you want to move research mountains find one that strikes you and stare at it for a while where is it the pilgrim may be awakening in you the summit calls Come, ba, ba, ba. you are the central mountain and the central mountain is everywhere yeah i mean like you know you have you are in charge of your own fate but at the same time you're not which is difficult to grasp, understand, I understand. All right, the king, X, there we go. I don't think I've gotten this one before. In the upright, which it's not, is benevolence, divine leadership, service, and nobility. In the reverse, it is oppression, misuse of power, and corruption. Be very careful. Um, and I'm doing Taurus too. Uh, on how you are coming across. I don't know if you are a spiritual creator or um, a leader in any niche or form, um, but going about things in this way and thinking that, you know, you deserve to be here because, you know, you're better than everyone else, not the case, okay? Um, oh, that's so yesterday, okay? We don't do that anymore. If our lives are imagined as a kingdom containing the entire spectrum of human experience, the king presides over it all. I just want to say before I keep reading this, this may be you or someone else. Um, you know, as I'm reading it, it seems like it is, you know, the person that I'm talking to, but, you know, take it as it resies. Uh, through the lens of the king, we assess the state of our land, make decisions, and rule accordingly. Therefore, the king must be thoroughly and regularly vetted to, as to avoid corruption. Yes. Recognize the dual nature of the king. He is either seated in benevolence and strength, guiding you towards peace, or he is oppressing the weak out of need to control. Now, there is a struggle with control here, so I just want to point that out. And we do have the mask in reverse as the overall, um, and we'll we'll get into that so um i'm hearing boss too this may be a boss um some think of the king as the ultimate expression of the ego yet the great kings of mythology and history serve from an egoless place five thousand percent they take their throne with grace and humility knowing the divine uses them as a channel to he to heal deep and long-standing discrepancies in the kingdom let's see once the king's relationship to, divin to divinity is broken or challenged, he often acts from a place of fear, scrambling to uphold his image and power. Yeah, if this is like... Also, if you are not going to be able to take um, criticisms and constructive criticisms and you fall um, right into this, you know, ego and... Um, illusion of power it's not going to get you anywhere and it's not going to help you move forward to get what you want and you're going to not have supporters um so i just want you to think about that real quick um and again this doesn't have to be you this could be people around you and we're going to get into the tarot to see you know the king is necessary he is a bridge between the eternal and the day-to-day -day. it is also said that it is necessary for the king to die this is a death of ego yeah i think there needs to be an ego death all right, I'm going to write that down. Eh. Ego death. Ooh, sorry. Jeez. And that's Taurus. Okay. Now we're going to do the mask. And again, it is in reverse. So let's see. Okay, the mask. When it's in the dark, which it is, is further conceals what is rejected. Yeah, that's, again, living out of fragility, the, uh, out of your ego. Um, and then when it's in the light, it reveals what has been suppressed. So I really feel like you're suppressing um, 
suppressing emotion. A lot of it kind of feels like toxic masculinity, even though it's not, it may be a masculine in your life. Um, but we're going to read this. We often think of a mask as something that conceals our identity, yet contemplate the possibility that the mask permits our true identity to be revealed. So you're not revealing your true identity, essentially, or they aren't. Um, it allows them, it allows. The mask gives voice to what, which was previously rejected. When this card appears, enact the side of you that is seeking expression, yet was never given a role to play on the stage of your life. You are in the realm of theater, so anything is possible. Speak with others' voice. Embody others' limbs. You are taking part in the ritual of expanding the self. There may be mischief and deception around. Okay, and others may be trying on new masks, too. No one is sure who is who. It is likely you've become so attached to a single mask that you need to fall face forward into this perception bending time. Trust it. I think kind of that's what it is too. I think you're trying to control the narrative so much. Um, or this person is trying to control the narrative so much that they're slowly forgetting who they are. Um... As the Zen cone suggests, meditate on your original face, the one you had before your mother and father were born. All right, so we're going to go into the tarot and see what this energy is all about. And again, it could be, you know, we all can check ourselves in some way, right? But if this is not you, it could be a person around you. So take it as it resies. <laughs> Also, I do do personal readings, darling. You can just email me at angelsanonymous333 at gmail.com and I'll send you the rates. Okay. Two of Pentacles, a decision that has to be made, weighing pros and cons about something. The Empress. Four of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so we have two feminine energies here or it could just be um the continuing uh of this person of you um i'm gonna keep going because like what's the healing from hold on okay you It's interesting because I'm getting, like, I was getting, like, heavy masculine vibes. Now it's heavy feminine vibes. I feel like you really don't know whether you should give your time or not to something. If it's worth investing in. Uh, and it feels like you are already in this resting mode right now from this um, competition, from this kind of fight for recognition almost i feel like this could almost be a job okay look at this this is what we were looking for king of wands in reverse and we have another king in reverse it's definitely this fiery masculine energy that has an ego trip for being sure and we have the justice card right after so that's what we love to see. Love seeing the justice, especially in the present energy. And the King of Wands is in the heart of the reading in reverse, which is, again, struggling with ego. Um, This is someone's really in need of an ego death. I think, and I think you have the ability to check this mother. <laughs> YouTube, I'm not cursing. I'm just bleeping myself out. <laughs> so let's see what the justice is, though. Okay. Uh, this person, five of swords in reverse, we do have two fives, um, which is a card of change, but also a card of conflict, okay? Um, now, this person, the justice is that they may want to reconcile, and they're realizing, like, wow, this person, you have the empress and the queen of pennies, okay? Um, but they could have also had someone else, okay? They could have had two people and are trying to control the situation, Three of Wands in reverse, no longer waiting for something. Knight of Pentacles in the upright. Okay, it's not bad. Okay, in the lovers. <clears throat> um. Okay, 
you're no longer waiting for this person to come forward and i feel like this person has taken taken their time their sweet old time in the past to really recognize this connection and give it the nurturing that it deserves and you absolutely did you're very nurturing um you know you hold it down um but this person i feel like really like really dropped the ball significantly yeah page of cups all right that's good though i mean overall energy page of cups that's an apology that's starting somewhere. It's a page though, okay? And we have king energy here and they're both in the reverse. So, you know, start from the bottom, you know, and they're not in here. That's what I got to say. Um, okay, apologize, but the best apology is changed behavior. And I think, um, I really do think you know your worth. Let's see. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Now, this could be a few things, right? They could be apologizing for... <clears throat> not offering you something stable. So what I mean by... What I mean by that with this card is this... This card is being single in the upright. Being single, uh, being stable, happy by yourself in the reverse... Uh, at some times, and, and it depends on the cards, um, someone wanting to make you not single um, and apologizing, you know, that they didn't do that. And also, they probably weren't in a space, and this can go hand in hand, but this person probably wasn't um, stable in themselves. And when I say probably, this person still isn't uh, because they, um, I really think they tried to manipulate this in a way that you know, they controlled the outcome and it just blew up in their face. Um, yeah, tried to, I'm going to write that down too. To control. Yeah, I really feel like this person's feeling the heat of it now. Yeah, exactly. And I'm, again, if this is resonating, definitely check out the other readings because they always are interestingly very similar sometimes. Um, but so the Six of Swords in reverse, this person can't move forward. You, okay, I really do feel like are going to move forward from this. But this person is still stuck on you because they messed up. Um, and it's, you know, again, I've been getting this so much. So I hope this resonates. But um, the girl or the woman, feminine, whatever, um, doesn't matter, you know, gender, all that, whatever, um, usually breaks up with the man in their head first and then is you know goes through that and then is good now it's it's a different process for the men it's like the reverse you know they they will start feeling the aftermath and it will hit them harder um and i think this person wasn't being true to themselves they didn't show their true selves and they tried to control the whole situation and it really just didn't work out for them again they could have had another uh another outside influence darling but what this person really needs to work on is their self and their ego because it is destructive to the path, <laughs> any path they take. All right. All right, Taurus. I hope this helped there, darling. If it did, hit all those buttons for you, girl. And I'll see you on the flippity flu.